Hi, my name is Benjamin from Codecentric and I would like to show you some insights from the Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot. Um, Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot was born on 13 of April this year and yeah, I will uh, show you some of the new features that are coming in the next release. Also there is Spring Boot 1.5 support for um, Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot and some new cool stuff. Why was the Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot born? Yeah, hmm. because that's simple. Production hates you. And hardware hates you too. And network hates you. As you can see, there are many components that are not really your friend. And yeah, there are many, many other parts in uh, around them um, that will try to make your life complicated. And um, we are writing so many unit tests, we are so writing so many integration tests and acceptance tests. Our code coverage is up to 90%, sometimes in some special cases 100%, but there's one thing, this unpleasant feeling, this, this remains. How our baby behaves in production, will it work correctly, will all components find each other? And there are many, many other um, questions that uh, you are looking to answer. And so I was inspired by the principles of chaos, chaos engineering, that was born at Netflix and some other companies. And yeah, that was a point where Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot um, was born, because um, I want to, to check my, um, my uh, developed applications, Spring Boot applications, um, how they behave in, in production and um, yeah. So here is a he is a uh, Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot. Um, what are the core concepts of the Chaos Monkey? Well, you have uh, a simple dependency, you will add it to your POM, and until then nothing will happen. You have to um, activate a Spring profile called Chaos Monkey, and in this case the uh, um, Chaos Monkey will initialize um, automatically and will try to um, find some components in your Spring Boot application. There are two main um, components in, in Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot. The first are, uh, is, a, is a watcher. A watcher is a component that will scan your application. And the other part is, uh, um, um, is assaults. Assaults are components that will try to add some latency to your application, that will um, inject an exception and some other cool stuff. As already mentioned, Spring AOP is, um, is the core component to scan your application and uh, all watchers are impl uh, implemented with the Spring AOP. These are the um, attack points for the watcher. Um, for example, you have annotated a an, an class in a Spring Boot application with add controller. A watcher will find all classes um, annotated with controller and will inform the Chaos Monkey assaults to, um, to attack these. Um, class. Um, additionally, there are at rest controller, at service, at repository, and so on and so on. And there are many, many cool new assaults coming in the next months or weeks. I hope so. Um, assaults will, as already mentioned, um, bring some bad flavor to your application because they will edit latency you can tr uh, control with the configuration. They will uh, interrupt the uh, original, original call um, or the, the request and will edit some exceptions or something like an end boss, they will kill your application finally. How does it look like? Um, in this example, you have a Spring Boot application and a Chaos Monkey is on the class path and all watchers are active. For example, in this case, there is a service watcher. Um, he will recognize any call to an um, add service class. And um, in this case, he will, yeah, will uh, for example, edit some latency to the call. OK, but um, yeah, it's a little bit abstract. So I have written a small demo to show you some more insights. Um, this is my small demo. You have an, an RP gateway, and um, in, in this case, uh, there's an endpoint, um, 
start page. And this API gateway will route every, uh, every request to the, um, for example, bestseller fashion endpoint or the bestseller toys endpoint or to some hot deals. And um, in this underlying services, there is a Chaos Monkey running. So in the bestseller fashion toys and in the hot deals, there is a um, Chaos Monkey on the class path. And he will try to attack our calls, will edit some latency, and so on. And I have also implemented some um, fallbacks with Hystrix. Hystrix is, an, is a small library and a framework that will um, give you the, the, the option to edit some fallbacks. For example, if a call um, goes longer than uh, one second, um, it will go to the fallback case, and you can send uh, back to the user and yeah, defined fallback, for example, with some cache values or what else. Um, it's also possible to uh, develop this, this behavior with Resilience4j. Take a look at it if you want. And now, yeah, let's get the uh, deep dive into uh, Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot. If you want to get started with Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot, please visit um, the GitHub page from Chaos Monkey. On this page, you will find everything you need to run uh, Chaos Monkey in your Spring Boot application and some additional information about um, be, uh, be social and uh, communicate uh, to all your colleagues. Because if you are just starting Chaos Engineering in your uh, little small office and nobody knows what you are doing, that's not a good idea. No, no. And um, yeah, you will find everything you need. and. Um, as you can see, at the moment there is a release uh, uh, 101 um, available on Maven, but um, I will show you now some of the new cool features um, that I have uh, implemented in the next release. Okay, here is our demo. I will just call the start page endpoint and will hopefully get some results. Yeah, works. Crazy. <coughs> the duration attribute will show us how long the call um, has taken to get back. And um, here you can see the result of the fashion response. Here are you, uh, here can you see the deals response, hot deals and the toys response. Everything works fine. Okay, that's boring. Huh? So let's activate the chaos monkey. All you have to do is edit a dependency to your Maven. Maven POM. Start your application. It's already running, so restart the app. Come on. Okay, up and running. Now let's take a look at the log. As you can see, here's an um, output from the Chaos Monkey, ready to, de uh, to do evil. Chaos Monkey is initialized and is uh, running on the Spring Boot application. And there's nothing else to do on your, on your source code, only edit the dependency to your Maven POM and start your app. Additionally, to, um, to get some trouble from the Chaos Monkey, you can um, yeah, configure it like you want. For example, it's necessary to edit an um, active profile, Chaos Monkey. Um, and additional to that, I have added some properties from the Chaos Monkey. For example, enabled false. What does it mean? Um, I want just to start up the, the Spring application and see if everything is running and okay, but I do not want that the Chaos Monkey will attack any calls. So let's get back to our browser. Let's get back to our endpoint. In this case, we are the, um, on the bestseller toys endpoint. Everything is fine. Okay. Now you can see that there's a watcher active, for example, the rest controller. 
So let's take a look at where I am, REST controller. And here you can see the annotation at REST controller. This is um, the indicator for the Chaos Monkey to uh, attack all calls to all public methods. Okay. And now we will see the new feature. I will enable the Chaos Monkey on the toys. Okay. Um, I have enabled a an Spring Boot Actuator endpoint and um, so I'm able to enable, disable the, the monkey at runtime. Let's send this request. Response 200, Chaos Monkey is enabled. Okay. Now let's see what happened. Nothing. Oh, there is latency. Okay. Now let's get back to our start page. Here's the start page. Duration on the first call was 9 milliseconds. Now take a look. Oh, 200 milliseconds. There was some latency added. Let's check the result. In this case, the toys response was not delivered. It's a fallback case. This is coming from the um, Hystrix uh, fallback method. And there is an empty result. You can do it just one more time. In this case, the Chaos Monkey has uh, not attacked the toys, toys endpoint. And we'll get a result from uh, three articles. Everything works fine. And the response type is remote service. This means that um, we are not in the fallback case from the Hystrix. From Hystrix. OK. And now we can enable the Chaos Monkey on all three um, REST endpoints. So just run. Everything works. Great. And now see what happened. Oh, all requests are failed. In fashion response, there is a fallback. In hot deals response, it's also a fallback. And yeah, in toys also. As you can see, the uh, Chaos Monkey is running on all three um, applications. And yeah, we get some latency. And now let's see what happened if I. Oh, added a new request. Okay. Now let's check the configuration. Get. Chaos Monkey configuration sent. Here's the response. Chaos Monkey is enabled. The assault properties are shown. Chaos level is 5. Latency start is 1000 milliseconds. Latency range end is 3000. And only the latency assault is active. Okay. Now we can change the configuration. Let's go to the assault endpoint, assaults, just a get request. Okay, and now we want to change the configuration at runtime. Ah, that's wrong, just takes this result. And now we want also some exceptions and no latency. Just sent 200 call. Uh, okay, assault config has changed. Now let's see what happened. We have done that on 8081. What happened? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, there's the exception. Okay, as you can see, no, la no, no latency was added, just um, some exceptions were thrown. And now it's Take a look at here. As you can see, we are also getting the fallback case. And you can see Chaos Monkey is running. And we can um, do some experiments, some chaos engineering experiments. OK, now I want to show you um, the implementation of the um, start page RP Gateway. As you can see, here's a simple get mapping start page. And what happened? Yeah, I'm starting a, a timer. And I'm also creating some future objects from Hystrix. 
So let's take a look at the bestseller toys, for example. Um, I will close this for you. At this point, I'm creating a new Hystrix command. I'm setting a group key that some internals from Hystrix you um, might know. And I'm setting a timeout um, about 200 milliseconds. So if the request is, uh, will take longer than 200 milliseconds, I will get a fallback from Hystrix and the request is cancelled. Now let's get into the command. I'm creating a new product response. Um, I will take the REST template from Spring to um, get the product list, as you can see here. And if everything is fine, I will set the response type to remote service so that the result is um, really coming from the remote endpoint I'm, I'm calling now. If something went wrong, uh, went wrong, I get a fallback from Hystrix. In this case, I've implemented just an empty list. And the response type is fallback. That is what you have seen um, in the request response example. That's all from my side. Um, feel free to leave me a comment. And um, yeah, please take a, look, uh, take a look at the Chaos Monkey for Spring Boot or send me a pull request or an issue, what else. Um, yeah, feel free to interact with the Chaos Monkey and make your um, applications more resilient. So, thanks for watching. Bye, Benjamin.